those owls moved on, which, by the way, were a ton of fun to watch every night. But uh, with them gone, it was back to business for me. So this night was no different. Uh, I took her out and nothing. So Pepper's an old dog, and around 2 in the morning, uh, she was licking my face again to wake me up to go out, which is the worst. But uh, I grabbed the leshy and led the way. This time, however, there was a bully coming down the fence. It's been a while since I've taken a raccoon with an offhand shot, and you're about to see why. Uh, I'll show it in real time first, and we'll slow it down and see how lucky I got. I was doing this weird hand gesture thing as I was struggling to find a good spot to set up while keeping Piper from running at the thing. I finally got on him, and then this happened. I drilled the thing, and it sounded solid, but it took off like a bat out of hell. So let's watch it again uh, from one of the security cameras, and then I'll slow it down. And what you can see is I pulled it really bad, uh, and it was, but I think it was a full frontal shot. So I ran back inside and grabbed a headlamp and threw on some pants. Uh, so I was wearing boxers earlier, uh, and I reviewed the footage while I was changing real quick, and I was pretty sure it was a full frontal vital shot um, on a raccoon. This might involve me pulling it out of my neighbor's yard, however. So, let's see how this plays out. This thing. I yanked that shot so bad. But, I think it hit it in the vitals. made it like 30 yards. Alright, that's my neighbor's backyard. I can't go down there. I'm gonna go walk down. I'm gonna put the gun down. I can't walk back there with a the gun. So I put the gun down and snuck down to go grab it. One bully down. Who knows how many to go. <laughs> 